the Joe Rogan experience. Did you see that video of the uh, octopus that had captured an eagle? That captured an eagle? Yes. It was in Vancouver Island. I the, know. The octopus had captured an eagle and was uh, trying to eat the eagle, and these fishermen saw the struggle and released the eagle from the grasp <laughs> of the octopus, to, which to me is like, that is a, like, here it is right here. Holy that. crap. That eagle's like, fuck, help, bro. Help, 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 <laughs> help. Hello. Well, help. Like, <laughs> But to me, it's weird. It's like, why are you getting involved in this? Right. It's not like... Right. E like, people want to think that eagles are an endangered species. They are absolutely not endangered. You go to Alaska, there are like pigeons up there. There's there are a lot, a lot of them. up there. It's um, a giant Pacific octopus. They're amazing, those animals. Beautiful octopus. Yeah. But that, that's the thing. It's like, I kind of like octopus more than I like eagles. They're much smarter. They're way smarter. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're really interesting. I mean, but, I love eagles too. Right. But you kind of got to lay it play out. Look, if I saw like a lion, that, that eagle might not make it anyway. Look at him. Right. He's fucked. He's, He's on the side drowned. of the water going, what happened? <laughs> what happened? The monkey people <laughs> saved me from the fucking, from the kraken. Yeah. He was, uh, I don't even know how the octopus got him, but- the, like what octopus can do is nothing short of spectacular. You know, we were talking about uh, my friend Remy Warren earlier, and he had a show on television before called Apex Predator, uh -huh. and it was basically they would study apex predators and you know the, the different strategies that they used to be successful as as a hunter and when they did the one on the octopus he you know he was in here and like he was like dude they're from another planet yeah he's like that is the, the way they change their texture right. and their color and the way they do it instantaneously to adapt to their environment and how well they blend in mm -hmm. They're so interesting. I think they're the most alien creature that exists on planet Earth. Yeah, I agree. There's a there's a new documentary out on, I think it's PBS, called Making Contact that's just about octopus intelligence. There's this guy, he's a fisheries biologist, and he gets an octopus and basically lives with it in his living room. Like, he figures out that this thing likes being petted, like it knows how to, it, it's just, it's the diverse array of things that this thing can process mentally. It's like on par with like what, chimpanzees do you know yes. what i mean it's like it's just like it can open jars it can close them it can come out of the aquarium go back into it it'll swim over if it knows you it knows if it doesn't like you like it's yeah. unbelievable yeah really weird right yeah is that how we got this video the octopus dreaming i just looked it up and it starts with the yeah, octopus this in the is, guy's living room this is it this yeah. is, oh, this wow, is okay, making wow. contact yeah, this is amazing and this video yeah. went super viral yeah well they apparently as the octopus is asleep and dreaming it's changing the outside color and texture of its skin in relation to whatever the fuck is going on in its head right wow, right that's so wild man isn't that nuts it's just so weird how they can instantaneously change their coloration and their texture and then perfectly blend in with coral Right. Like when you see them like stop on a coral reef and just become the reef, you're like, what are Instantly, you? too. It's like, yeah. zoop, and it's gone. Look at the colors in this thing. You know My what's... God. There are, actual, there are people that actually believe they are from out of space. I've seen that. Yeah. I was going to bring that up to you, <laughs> that there's biologists that believe that yeah. they came in in asteroids and eggs. You got it. Yeah. That's exactly right. What do right. you think about that? I think... Like, look, I believe in life outside of Earth, but I don't, I don't necessarily think that octopus came from that. I think they're... You know, they have... Other cephal like there are other cephalopods that they're related to genetically, squid and cuttlefish and things yeah. like that. I don't necessarily think they came from out of space, but I can see why there's science to support that it's a possibility, and then I can also see why people think that seeing them. Well, there's thoughts about that with a lot of different life forms, like spores. Mm -hmm. There's thoughts about that when it comes to psilocybin mushrooms. Yep. There, there's like the real freaky psychedelic heads think that psilocybin mushrooms came from asteroids. Right. And and, and the the proof and the pudding in that one, so to speak, is the fact that you can take mushroom spores into the vacuum of space and bring them back to Earth, and they still they still fruit. Yeah. I'm trying to grow weed right now to see what happens up there. You yeah. want to send a little bit of weed into something on the space station, I think. Really? They're going to test it for 30 days and see if it's viable. Really? In some way. Oh, wow. That's when we get Monster into weed. The, the weed business. <laughs> Us and Elon, space weed. <laughs> SpaceX right? weed, yeah. Is we, Elon sent weed into space yeah. legitimately? I don't think this is the first time it's been done, but the story went around because it's not top <laughs> That's interesting because when he was on here, I don't even think he inhaled. <laughs> you know? 
He's awesome. growing weed in space. Look at what their the octopus eggs look like. Mm-hmm. Whoa! And so they're developing those intelligent chromatophores, that thing that basically the skin picks up the color and changes to match, mm-hmm. right there in the embryo. God. Look at their little eyeballs. <laughs> how weird. And look how many of them. Mm-hmm. Like a, an invasion. You imagine if your wife gave birth to that many people? No, thanks. You'd be like, how, what? I have a school. <laughs> it was a school full of kids. <laughs> First of all, I'm getting fucking snipped. Look at that. Yeah. Boom. Look how they drop off. <laughs> That's Boink. what the Matrix looked like. Remember that? Exactly. Yeah, yeah it is. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, the Matrix is not that far off. And it seems like the further not, <laughs> the further we go in time, in human evolutionary time, the more it seems like it's an ac- it's accurate. You know yes, what I mean? Like, yes. It's like we're getting more and more plugged in every day. It's like a combination of the Matrix and the Terminator. Uh-huh, the two totally. of them together. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm very concerned about the future of our species. But, yeah. uh, but uh, going back to octopus, octopus and cuttlefish are closely related, right? And they both yes. can change yes. their texture and their color. Yeah. Uh, cuttlefish have le- less textural changes. They're more uh, color-based. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was the one they did where they had them over a uh, chessboard? And it was trying to mi- – you ever seen that? Where no. an octopus is trying to mimic a chessboard? That's cool. Yeah, it's really weird because it throws their system off because it's right. so many right angles and it's, it's such a hard the contrast. Yeah, mm-hmm. the one-zero contrast. So when you look at it like this octopus, like trying to like figure out <laughs> right what to do. Yeah, could see, you see actual like lines in his color? I don't remember. Yeah. I remember it being weird. It's a cuttlefish that they did. Over Is it a cuttlefish? There. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can see it here. It's very strange. Uh, just the pictures are good. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> like pretty fucking good. Yeah. Like it's got white squares, man. Right. The goddamn thing's growing white squares. It started with zebra stripes, and then I think it maybe it figured out the squares after a couple minutes. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> I, I like the picture in the bottom right there where the guy looks like he's playing chess against the cuttlefish. <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought there was a cuttlefish on the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like what a strange ability that these uh, animals have... Unbelievable. ...figured out. I mean, it, it just how the fuck did that evolve? I right. Mean, they're, they're devising strategies in order to be more effective predators while they're in the ocean and hide from other predators. Right. And they figured out a way to change the color and the texture of their skin. Like, how long did that take? I, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Millions of years. 